Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today we're going to talk about Chip Tone. So, what is Chip Tone? Chip Tone is a cool little tool that's free for you to create sound effects for your game. Now, for the most part, if you're going to make something like a realistic first person shooter or something that requires very realistic tones this is probably not a good choice for you but if you're here just to create like a 2d side scroller or an 8-bit game this would be a perfect tool for that so let's take a look at it so this is chip tone chip tone is a really cool tool um, they have three sections over here unfortunately these two are coming soon so Someday it will show up, but unfortunately, as of right now, it's not. So we only have our synth section. Over here on the left, we have the ability to generate sounds. We have some waves, some frequency, and some amplitude, and then some modifiers here, and then some additional modifiers here. So let's say we wanted to create a jump sound. If I come over here and I go ahead and click on jump, you can see that I get a pretty cool sounding jump. So if I click it again, you can see that it just keeps changing into different styles of jump sounds. And I can kind of go forth and mess with it from here. So like I can give it more crunch, more of a ring sound. I don't really like how long it's going, so I'm just going to kind of pull back on my sustain. Maybe not. Let's see. Length is pretty tiny but anyway you can kind of play with it and see what you guys would like but I can kind of click in here and go zap or one up or like a lose sound or like getting hurt and you can see how quickly you can create sound effects it's crazy it's just how quickly you could just go I'm gonna pick up a coin And you can get seven bajillion different ways of picking up coins. Now, like, for instance, if I like this one, but I don't like the tone, I can kind of click on my keyboard and reduce the pitch of that coin. So I could say, there we go. That's a decent coin pickup sound, right? And I could also kind of create my own sound. Now, I'm not going to try to create a coin sound because I'm pretty awful at it. But if we add in, like, vibrato... You can hear how it adds in that additional sound or harmony where it will add in a harmonic sound to help make it seem more full versus a flat sound. It adds an additional element to that sound. Or if I go into full synth, it makes it more like a robotic sound. Or I could come in and you can hear if I turn on arpeggio, which in my case I had it on, but if I play this, you can hear how it's a single sound, right? But if I click on arpeggio, it goes boop, boop, and it adds that additional sound there. So I can actually add a t three, right? And it'll change up how the notes are. And if I Uh, see, it's not really doing what I want, but that's okay. I'm not super great at this kind of thing. I'm assuming that my rate's probably just too low. Yeah. So you can see how it kind of lets you play around with it. And you'd be surprised how cool of a sound you can get out of this. Now, if you come to delay, delay adds a delay, so it actually makes it echo. So that's pretty cool. Wawa adds in some breaking up effect. So it kind of breaks up the sound. It's a little hard to see when something's so short, but that's okay. Bitrate allows you to crush the sound. To make it sound more like a 8-bit game or something like that. Tremelo adds an additional depth to it. And it really can make it sound cool. So 
So it can make it sound kind of space agey, maybe, if that's what you're looking for. Ring mod can add an additional sound to it. So you can hear there's like a, a buzz in the background. So you can get a pretty cool layered effect. Now you can use this to create something simple like you got one up. In general, I try to, to start from one of these. So like, let's say a lose and go, okay, I don't like how that is. So I'm gonna bring it down quite a bit. You know, you can kind of really mess with it. There we go. See like, that's a good one. There we go, see? So you can get some really cool effects. And once you really know how this works, it's really easy to create a good sounding sound. Come in here. Ooh, that's not great. Come in here, maybe add some wah wah. You know, to help break up that sound. Maybe adjust the Brit rate so that it crushes it a tiny bit. Maybe not, I don't like it. So let's add a tremolo, maybe. I don't know if I like any of that. Ah, I don't like any of that. That sounds pretty cool. So you can get some really cool effects with this. And I could sit here and play with this all day, but you can really use this to make your game sound amazing and it's free. So go ahead and check it out. Link is in the description below because I think that it would really help you guys with making your games and creating sound effects for your games. And it'll save you guys a lot of time trying to generate these sound effects. But that is all I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, you know, if you dislike this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button because I'm here to make content for you guys. And what do you guys think about chip tones? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's an interesting tool? Will you guys use it? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'd be more than happy to hear from you guys and see what you guys think. But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all next time. Thanks. Thank you.